So when everyone says, just go to the store and buy some sulfur. <laughs> yeah, this is what you get. The following sulfur purification process uses tallien. The reason we're using tallien is because it will only dissolve the sulfur in this solution. Even though it does appear that it's dissolved other materials, that's actually just colloidal particles suspended that will fall out of suspension if we allow the solution to cool slow enough for that to happen before the crystallization takes place. So that's one thing to think about. When you turn the boiling off, let all that gunk settle to the bottom and you'll get much cleaner crystals out of the top. That's really neat. So this method seems to be far superior to what people are showing on YouTube. I didn't like what I was seeing there, so I decided to go my own route. So there's that material. So we dissolved everything but that stuff, basically. Now that yellow color tells us we've still got some sulfur dissolved in solution. You can see all the gunk at the bottom there. So I'll try and decant that. A huge amount of it from earlier. I did several recrystallizations, but I just wanted to show you that those suspended particles do fall out of suspension and end up in the bottom there. This is what we come up with after about an hour. I'm going to decant this, I guess. So. This was the cleaner portion that was scraped off the top. I'll recrystallize it by itself. And this is the dirtier portion, which is still probably just fine for smoke bomb grade sulfur. This stuff here is looking a lot more agreeable, but it's still got that muck layer on the bottom. So we're going to avoid that muck layer at all costs on this particular extraction. Okay, I'm now going to recrystallize the pure stuff. It needs filtered pretty bad, but I don't have Italian filter. So surprisingly, that all dissolved. I was about to add more acetone. I was getting a little worried. Oh, crap. Looks like there's molten sulfur at the bottom of that. See that? That looks like molten sulfur right there. It could be. It's certainly boiling the crap out of that liquid. Molten sulfur. All right, fellas, so here's the four different grades we recovered. This is the top of the cleaner stuff. And this is the bottom, and it did indeed melt. That was a molten layer of sulfur in there. It kind of held all the dirt in it. I may redo this section. This is the top of that dirtier stuff, a little bit dirtier. Much bigger needles. And this is the bottom. I'm going to try and wash this bottom and see if some of this stuff will wash out. 